This way, gentlemen, I have a mount. Oh, yes, the two gentlemen from Hooterville. Show them in. Gentlemen, if you please. <laughs> Madam, uh, Mr. Carson, Mr. Drucker. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Won't you sit down? You are here on business? Oh, well, well, yeah, but we'd rather discuss that with your hubby. I have no husband. H. Green. I am H. Green. You? <laughs> the one with the empire and all the companies? <laughs> That's right. Sit down, please. We're in luck if I can't out-talk a female. <laughs> May I assume that you gentlemen are here in regard to the train known as the Cannonball? Uh, all right. Well, as you know, the train is up for sale to the highest bidder. So, if you want it, all you have to do is bid. Yeah. Well, that ain't working out too good. <laughs> what my associate means is, maybe you'd better not sell it. Oh? That's what we're here for. You see, being a fellow magnet, we want to give you a tip on good things. <laughs> really? What is it? Well, we represent the Drucker Incorporated and Parson Elliott Enterprises. We feel it'd be a bad thing to get rid of the cannonball right now because, uh... <laughs> well, because we're planning to industrialize the whole valley. You were not aware of all this, Mr. Drucker? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. I'm in it up to my... Uh, up to my neck. <laughs> it's just that us magnets, we always keep these things top secret. Yes, D. She's one of us. <laughs> oh, in that case, we'll go right ahead. Hey, tell her about the whole plan. <laughs> Yes, do. <laughs> Tell me more. Well, actually, we're a year or two away on this thing. We thought you'd like to get into it so we could scoop up on the big profits. By holding on to the cannonball so it can keep on running. Right. Well, now that we've done our good turn for a day, I guess you'll excuse us and we'll be on our way. Now, wait just a moment. I'd like to ask a few questions. Now, are you two gentlemen behind all this industrialization? Right. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Us and a couple of other big leaders in the valley. Oh, you have a combine. Oh, but Newt Kiley has a tractor and a couple of plows. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Uh, maybe you better answer that question. <laughs> oh, uh, sure. Well, now, if there's anything you don't understand, uh, just drop us a line. Oh, well, now, I think I better know a little bit more about your operation. Well, there's the Drucker Mercantile Empire. Interesting of. That uh, consists of Drucker's uh, general store. And then there's the Carson Elliott Enterprises. And that consists of? Well, that, that consists of uh, Carson. That's me. And uh, Elliott. That's Elliott. And together we're Carson Elliott. What is the structure of your firm? Huh? Oh. Oh, it's a great big... Financial structure. Well, we uh, put in a certain amount, take out a certain amount, and that's about it. Gentlemen, I'm sorry, but I find that your answers are somewhat less than satisfactory. Perhaps if you could show me your fiscal statement. We don't have one of those. But we're in the market for one. We're shopping around right now. Beg <laughs> pardon, madam. There's an important telephone message for Mr. Carson from a Mr. Floyd Smoot. That's one of our leading associates. This could be big things, S.D. Oh, yeah, this could be some startling new development. <laughs> What's the message? I shall quote verbatim. Big news. We found the horseshoe. <laughs> now, really, gentlemen. Well, I can explain the message. You see, it's in code. What it really hey, means... Hey, Joe, is... Joe, forget it. Oh. Yeah. I guess you might as well know the truth. We're not really big industrialists. Really? <laughs> no. Here is a Drucker Mercantile Empire. Just one little country store. 
That's all. So, uh, show her Carson Elliott Enterprises. Oh, no, not Lockheed. <laughs> You gentlemen must have been desperate to try all this. Well, we, we had to do something. All the money we could raise from my store and Joe and Steve's crop dusting outfit and the pledges from all the folks in the valley, so we, we still couldn't meet the competition. So... How's it going, Sam? Wait. You gentlemen were willing to pledge everything you own to save the cannonball? Well, the valley wouldn't beat a valley without the cannonball. Wait just a few minutes, will you, please? I want you to take back a message to my representative, Mr. Bedlow. Our limousine, Mr. Carson. After you, Mr. Drucker. <laughs> Thank you, my good man. the bus station. <laughs> we are hereby instructed to call off the sale of the cannonball. Oh! It was in the bag all the way. Congratulations. From you? Well, I was thinking, if they sold the cannonball, I wouldn't have any excuse to come out here and fight with you people. <laughs> and I, I'd miss you. And well, anyway, congratulations. You see, Mr. Bedlow, I was right after all. You're really very nice. Thank you. 